Here we are at OB Beams Coffee Roasters here at Ocean Beach, San Diego, California. Let's come and check out my art show exhibit. It's Mirror, Mirror, Body and Brain, What Neuroscience is Missing Today. And it's up now until Sunday, November 10th. We got Leonardo da Vinci, we got Benjamin Franklin, the mirrored keyboard, perhaps humanity's greatest missing key to brain balance. There's developmental studies that show that kids' brains are originally more symmetric before they learn how to read. Their brains would remain and develop more symmetrically if they learned how to mirror read. They can actually learn how to mirror read way quicker than uh, average adults. My modern translation of a 1779 letter written by Benjamin Franklin, a petition of the left hand. He addresses it to educators and he creatively tells them about how both hands are designed for equal use and that we should be teaching kids how to develop both hands as such. This is just simply a mirrored image on both sides, left and right. I wrote this completely ambidextrously, left-handed and right-handed uh, in this mirrored motion. And then this whole wall, a whole bunch of really cool stuff here. Your guinea pig for science. Welcome to Lefty Land. Some chalk art that I did here. Da Vinci right there. A Da Vinci quote right here. Study without desire spoils the memory. Memories are encoded in one hemisphere, but they're decoded in another. So if the two hemispheres can better communicate with one another, memory recollection increases. Same thing with what would have been Mr. Benjamin Franklin. Both of those men lacked formal education. Here, rail walking, I walk on handrails. It's just one of the things that I do. Orange peels, right there, orange peels. One day on Google Play, maybe soon on Apple Store. This is the scariest rail walk that I've ever done. I'm actually walking backwards up this rail. This is the longest rail walk that I've ever done. One of my favorite uh, Albert Einstein quotes, imagination is more important than knowledge. Now, Albert Einstein, his brain was shown to be abnormally symmetric, which is a sign of ambidexterity. Theory Cafe. That's the coffee shop that I want to start, the world's first dedicated to mirror movement development. This is just a completely symmetric, mirrored and inverted quote by Leonardo da Vinci. Love this one. If you go down to the seawall here in Ocean Beach right now, you'll see some of my artwork. So that's a quote by Leonardo da Vinci. Inverted quote by Einstein. Right here, what exactly does mirror movement development do for the brain? This is in front of Independence Hall. Now this image is mirrored and this is also upside down. Well done is better than well said. Benjamin Franklin, that mirror clock right there. So when you work to learn how to read that, you are physically exercising mirror movement development. My book here, the front cover, the back cover, and right here uh, in the middle, page 51, page 51, the other side, and then uh, the chapter five right there on mirror reading with an ambigram right there, which is just magic cut out, and then the shadow cast on it is dream. And you can see, of course, here the brain working out, so I love this. So yeah, pick up that book, and you can actually practice reading it like that. Again, world's first symmetric book written both forwards and backwards in mirrored and traditional script. Lord Robert Bannon Powell, his quote here, of course, the man in the middle of my book, if listening and observation is your occupation, you will gain much more than you can by talking. Here we have history's famous practitioners, Benjamin Franklin, Hippocrates, Socrates is another one, Harry Houdini, Jimi Hendrix, James Garfield, uh, Lord Robert Van Powell, Queen Victoria, Leonardo da Vinci, Thomas Jefferson, Albert Einstein, uh, uh, Eastern Islanders, Lewis Carroll, the author of Alice in Wonderland, Paul McCartney, M.C. Escher, Ancient Scythians, Michelangelo, Mozart, Nikola Tesla, Mahatma Gandhi. A symmetric art piece that I did in Mission Beach. One of my favorite quotes of Benjamin Franklin here, a learned blockhead is a greater blockhead than an ignorant one. Nikola Tesla quote here in Spanish, Los grandes momentos nacen de una gran oportunidad. The world's greatest MMD athletes. Patrick Mahomes, uh, Maria Sharapova, Tom Brady, Manny Pacquiao, Tiger Woods. Gordie Howe, Mike Tyson, Paul Rodriguez, Bruce Lee, LeBron James, Mickey Mantle, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, Barry Bonds, Larry Bird, Ted Williams, Lionel Messi, Kobe Bryant, Rafael Nadal, Pele. For all perfectionists out there, remember Leonardo da Vinci. His dying words were, I have offended God and mankind because my work did not reach the quality it should have. Right here, Bostrophedon, how the ancient Greeks were. Bostrophedon means like an ox plows. One line goes like this, next line goes like that, next line goes like this, next line goes like that. So to read and write that way, you would be moving the hands both ways while chiseling in a stone. Your eyes would be reading in both directions. Would have made their brains abnormally symmetric. The ancient Greeks, one of the most enlightened uh, civilizations from human history. Because tigers don't tag over them and the city doesn't paint over them, it breaks that cycle of graffiti. Symmetric accent are there at the Gerard Avenue Bridge on the Schuylkill River in Philadelphia. I had produced this, submitted it to Amazon um, as a completely mirrored version of his autobiography. It was the first fully mirrored physical book that I ever read. 
Benjamin Franklin's genius and the neuroscience behind it. All our knowledge has its origins in our perceptions. Leonardo da Vinci. Rodney Mullen, the, the godfather of uh, street skateboarding, the inventor of the kick flip, the 360 flip. He's been skating perhaps longer street than any other skateboarder on earth. Back in 2007, the same year that I did, he also started skating exclusively switch for rehabilitative purposes. It helped him become more balanced, more controlled, and allowed him to stay successful. MMD is what you need. Right, screws it in here, that. This is an ambidextrous art piece that I did inside of a bathroom in a Tijuana bar. This rock star is Dr. Catherine Co. She is awesome. She's an ambidextrous neurosurgeon fine artist out of Manhattan. When you think it's over, it's not just ambidextrously done in front of Ho Dad's, uh, one of the best burger joints here in San Diego. Right here, the man, Jimi Hendrix, the most famous magician of all time, Harry Houdini. About how to balance the brain, read from left to right and from right to left. And it's a Benjamin Franklin quote that says, where liberty dwells, there is my country. Right here, mirrored music. Playing musical instruments like this, they require the use of both hands. So a lot of people think, well, that's already, that would be mirror movement development, but not technically. What you would actually need is a mirrored version of these devices. I love this piece right here because I talk about how mirror movement development, I consider it the third pillar of longevity along with nutrition and exercise. All the activities that are associated with longevity happen to also be MMD. So walking and running, hiking, cycling, swimming, yoga, all of that, you equally use both sides of your body. LeBron James, just like Larry Bird, does everything left-handed except basketball. From the young age of eight, his coaches had noted how he had an uncanny ability to mirror plays in his head. He has scored more points than anybody so far. And he says that when he turns 40 this December, he's gonna score another 5,000 points. And he jokingly says, I'm going to do it all left-handed. Like if you can read in a traditional direction, you can learn to read in mirror direction. I loved doing this piece. It took me like a good 45 minutes. I did it here in OB. The next morning I went out and it was already painted over. And this is some ambidextrous chalk art that I did at Alfred's Alley, which is the oldest residential street in America. It's in Philadelphia, an old city. The oldest homes on this alleyway date back to the 1720s. And during that time, a young Benjamin Franklin would have walked down that street many times. So Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin, they're both considered the avatars of the Enlightenment because of their brilliance. If you look at the National Park Service website, it talks about Thomas Jefferson as working to develop ambidexterity for the rest of his life. Another 40 years. Lewis Carroll, author of Alice in Wonderland, that man, he wrote 100,000 letters to his adoring fans. Many of them were very special. They were called looking glass letters and he actually wrote them in mirror direction. Ta-da, I think that's it. Hannah, did I happen to miss anything you think? <laughs> There's so much more to come.